Guys, okay, as requested by a lot of you guys, um, we're doing a custom tactics video. Um, so my highest finish, I guess, is 17 and 3, or 18 and 2 in weekend league, sorry. Um, if we're counting last FIFA, and I guess my highest version is late division. So yeah, I guess these work for the high end FIFA, I guess. But yeah, the current team we're playing with right now is this. Um, the defense needs some upgrades, but we're able to work with it, so it's fine. It's fine, to be honest. But yeah, on to the custom tactics. Now, I mainly play the 4 1 2 1 2 and the 4 2 3 1. And then, if I want to, I've got to change one of these custom tactics, make it a bit more pressing. But these are the only two formations I ever use one narrow, one wide formation. I always recommend you guys have at least two different formations. Never keep just one custom tactic, just keep two. In case one of them is not working against your opponent, you can switch it and maybe that works. But yeah, I always recommend one narrow, one wide. It's best because say if the wide is not working, then maybe a narrow would work. If the narrow don't work, maybe a wide would work. But yeah, um, cool. On to the 4 one 2 one 2 tactics. This is currently we've got, we've got balance, defensive style. Um, you can go, I have seen pressure on heavy touches to be, I've seen it to be quite effective sometimes, but for me, I think balance is the best. Honestly, balance is the best. Width, um, I keep as 55 because I do want some width with the narrow formation, if that makes sense. I don't want it to be too, too narrow, but I would like it to be a bit, the centre is a bit out, if that makes sense. Um, depth, 60, because I feel like having such a low depth is just, I don't know, it's just boring. Really, it's boring when you're just playing so deep. Um, in your half it's just i don't like it basically um build up play balanced direct passing i feel is the best now i have used forward runs and i do like forward, run forward runs but um i think forward runs is more if you do like over the tops quick counts and stuff like that but i feel like direct passing is just the way to go it's always the way to go for me Ever since direct passing was released i think that's maybe last year for the fifa before I've always gone with it. It's just the best one for me. Um, and yeah, again, the width is 55. I do like a lot of players getting into the box um, because I like to play attacking football, I guess. Try and score as many goals as I can. But yeah, um, corners, three free kicks. I should draw that to two because I shoot my free kicks with Messi because Messi has good, good free kicks. So again, you don't need many many points on these two is up to preference corners i prefer the box to be a bit more crowded because i can actually score corners um free kicks i never cross in a free kick so you don't need that you don't want to make yourself open to a counter-attack but yeah having this on a four or five i think is too dangerous for the counter-attack so i think three is very reasonable um but yeah, for one, two, one, two, Zola up front with Dembele, Messi at Cam, Nakata Park, centre mid, Valverde CDM. Now Valverde, he's not really a CDM, um, so I would recommend playing like a proper natural CDM, like a Vieira, a Kessie, a Kante at that CDM position. But um, I'm working with what I've got at the moment, and it's working fine, to be honest, it's working fine. Because ideally, you don't want your CDM to have high, high work rates. My one does, and... It does cause some issues sometimes, but most of the time we're fine. Most of the time we're fine because we keep the CDM always on standby while attacking the cover centre. It's just, you always do it. You want one extra man behind defending in case you get exposed for a counter attack or something like that. It's always good to have one. Um, and then both fullbacks stay back while attacking. Um, very important for, again, when you're getting counter attacked or something like that, you don't want your wings to be exposed by your opponent's wingers because it can open up so much space and only having two defenders back is very dangerous it's very dangerous um of course if you're comfortable with playing attacking fullbacks um i recommend you keep them on stay back while attacking and then in game you turn on attacking fullbacks and you can turn it off when you want to i tend to do that quite a few times um same when i'm losing a game and i need some wingers but the 43 one wasn't working i'll put an attacking fullbacks um, and it does work quite a bit, does work quite a bit, but you have to be good at defending for that. You really have to be good at defending if you want to play essentially two or three at the back. Main, if you're playing a four back formation and you're playing attacking four backs, you have to be very good at defending to be able to defend with just two defenders. Because this, with my CDM, the CDM, he is staying back while attacking, but 
not really at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but the CDM does push up a bit more than the centre backs do, of course. So you can be left open with attacking full backs. But yeah, um, again, if you're struggling to defend, um, what I'd recommend if you're playing the 4 1 2 1 2, the CDM and one centre mid as stay back while attacking. So you have two players staying back while attacking, so you're able to defend the counter attack much better. Um, but because if you're a good defender, I recommend both centre mids. One, I put one and get forward, get into the box for the cross, because I like to play more attacking football. And then I have the other centre mid as just balanced. Um, he can go forward, he can go back, he can do whatever he wants, essentially. And yeah, um, pretty much Cam always stay for every single FIFA. I put my Cam to stay forward because I feel like when it's not stay forward, he's in an awful position. Like, see where the cursor is on Park Ji Sung? My Cam is always to the right of him. I'd hate it. I need my Cam for link up play. So I always put it on stay forward. And then one striker's on just balanced, the other one's on getting behind. I tend to put the more pacier one and more agile one in getting behind. Um, just so he can make those quick counter attacks. But yeah, that's it for the 4 1 2 1 2. Um, yeah, I guess for the 4 2 3 1, pretty similar with the tactics 50 width, 60 depth, uh, balance, direct passing, 50 width again there. And pretty much the same for the plays in the box and corners. Um, the formation I play. Now, I don't. I changed Zola and Dembele for a striker position, but I feel like. The five star five star in Dembele is way too valuable to just play him on the wing. Honestly, at five star five star is just very valuable in FIFA. Um, you can shoot on any foot, and you can do any skill move. But yeah, on to the custom tactics. Again, full backs on stay while attacking. Um, left CDM is on stay back, cover center, while the other center is on get forward, and cover center. Um, Again, as I said, I like to play attacking football, so that's why I have the other CDM on get forward. But if you're not that great at defending, um, I do recommend leaving this on just balanced. Or if you really need that extra support, stay back while attacking. But I do feel like having both CDMs on stay back really limits your options on the attack sometimes. But you can work with it if you want to. Until you get better at defending, then you can change it. It's the same with the 4 1 2 1 2. Once you get better at defending, um, then you can put one sentiment as balanced and one as get forward or something like that. Uh, interchangeable, yeah. Um, again, Cam always stay forward, no matter the formation, he's always going to stay forward. Um, get into the box for the cross because sometimes, say if I'm cutting inside with my wide players, I want. So, how do I explain it? No, it's kind of like a sweaty goal essentially. Um, I got my wingers getting into the box um, bringing the ball out from the wide position coming in and they can either pass to Dembele who's literally right beside them but typically the striker's marked so I get my cam to also push into the box so I can instead of passing it to the right to Dembele I pass it backwards to Messi who just finishes it that's essentially why I got the get into the box for cross um, I feel like it's very effective for getting sweaty goals easy goals and then again um, with the wingers um, I also put them in get into the box for crosses because again say if I have Nakata running down the wing instead of having to cross it all the way outside to the box to Zola I can cross it in and I have the option between Messi Dembele and Zola inside the box to score just increasing my chances of scoring to be honest and then for the um, striker stay central getting behind because I don't want my striker going wide or anything like that. I want him to stay in the middle, be open for the sweaties, be open for the counter attacks, all that sort of stuff. Just, yeah, I feel like he needs to stay central and the rest, the rest of the guys can go wide. Um, and then getting behind again for the counter attacks. And aggressive interception I put because, say, if the opponent's making a mistake at the back or something like that, or he's not really, um, I don't know how to explain it, he's not very, he lacks, lacks composure out of the back, I guess. The aggressive interceptions can get like a quick uh, steal of the ball essentially and win the ball and score a cheap little goal pretty much essentially. But yeah, um, again, you don't need to put aggressive interceptions in your striker. It's just a personal preference, I guess. But yeah, I guess that's it for the um, um, custom tactics. 
I do recommend you having a third one for like say if you're losing really badly um, just have it on constant press pressure fast build up direct passing something like that and high I mean 60 width maybe like a 75 depth and play the formation you're most comfortable with with this tactic because you want to be able to score as many goals as possible or try and score a goal as quick as possible so for this sort of like ultra attacking formation I say pick the formation you're most comfortable with and just go all out attack but yeah and that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed um, let me know what other type of videos you guys want to see and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video peace